ABC News at 11 a.m. Good morning. You're watching 23 ABC News at 11 a.m. I'm Lindsay Adams. We do have breaking news at this hour. The district attorney's office is expected to announce the results of their investigation into the highly publicized David Silva case very soon. 23 ABC's Chris Ornelas joins us live from the DA's office with more. Well, Lindsay, we're here in the press room of the DA's office downtown where we learned just within the last 15 minutes from the Silva family that the district attorney will not be filing any criminal charges in the David Silva beating death. Now, the Silva family was here to meet with the district attorney in person in advance of her 11.30 a.m. press conference. Uh, they met with her for about a half an hour, and the Silva family again tells me they have decided not to file criminal charges against any of the deputies involved involved in the David Silva beating death. Now, 33-year-old David Silva died after being beaten outside of KMC last May. Now, uh, 23 ABC uh, obtained exclusive video of the beating, and in fact, the Kern County Sheriff's Office subpoenaed the video, and then that became part of the investigation. Now, the video showed at least 19 separate baton strikes by three different sheriff's deputies, and uh, in the end, it all triggered an FBI investigation as well as this DA investigation. Uh, we believe we were told uh, months ago that the DA decision would not come out until the FBI investigation was complete, so we believe this is an indication that the FBI investigation has been completed as well. Of course, we'll be standing standing by here for that press conference here at 11.30 a.m. and we'll be live streaming the whole thing from beginning to end on our website, turn to 23com Lindsay? Thanks, Chris. Federal authorities are investigating the deadly tour bus crash in Northern California. A FedEx truck slammed into a bus full of high school students about 100 miles north of Sacramento, killing at least 10 people, including the drivers of both the truck and the, the bus, plus eight passengers on that bus. ABC's Mary Bruce has more. This is all that's left of the vehicles involved in a horrible accident on a California highway. At least 10 people were killed and dozens injured when a FedEx truck hit a car and smashed head on into a charter bus Thursday afternoon. They heard a loud sonic boom. The tour bus was fully engulfed in flames. There was nothing left of the tour bus. A lot of people screaming and begging for help. I was claiming for help. They say, hey, don't let me die. Just give me, help me. The vehicles went up in smoke, this huge fireball shutting down traffic on Interstate 5, about an hour and a half north of Sacramento. The bus was carrying high school students. These are students that were involved in a college trip on the way to a Humboldt University. People are just panicking, so they're just like throwing themselves out the window. Police and ambulances rushed to the scene. First responders set up a triage. Injured students were helped away from the wreckage. Some walked on their own. Others had to be carried. The California Highway Patrol says the FedEx truck was headed south on the highway when it crossed the center divider but it's not clear why. We're going to be investigating the human, the machine, and the environment. And what's critical for us, especially in highway accidents, is for us to collect perishable information, the kind of information that goes away very quickly. Overnight, FedEx released this statement. Our thoughts and prayers are with everyone involved in the tragic accident on I-5 in California. We are cooperating fully with authorities as they investigate. Authorities have not yet released the names of the victims, but we do know that both the driver of the truck and the bus were killed. Now, an NTSB GO team is expected to arrive here on the scene later this morning. Mary Bruce, ABC News, Orland, California. The 16-year-old accused of going on a stabbing spree at a Pennsylvania high school remains behind bars this morning, and police are still trying to figure out why it happened. Officials say Alex Rival stabbed 20 of his fellow classmates at random with a pair of 8-inch kitchen knives on Wednesday. But unlike some previous school attacks around the country, Rival's lawyer said there never appeared to be any warning signs with him. He has never had any mental health problems whatsoever. He's never been in a juvenile court system. Uh, he was a well-liked student. He was not a loner. And the sophomore who will be tried as an adult is now facing charges, including aggravated assault and attempted homicide. A Bakersfield man is facing charges after police say he assaulted his girlfriend and an officer. A BPD officer was flagged down by a woman just after 7.30 last night on Chester Avenue, and the witness directed him over to K Street, 
where 58-year-old Pedro Hernandez was allegedly assaulting a woman. Now, according to BPD, Hernandez then attacked an officer who was trying to get him to stop. They called for backup and were eventually able to get him into custody. Hernandez was taken to a hospital to be treated for injuries, and he's now facing charges, including spousal abuse and assault with a deadly weapon on a police officer. And BPD is asking for your help to find this armed robbery suspect. He's accused of walking into the Go Go Mini Mart on Weibel Road around 9.30 p.m. April 1st. Officers say he pulled out a handgun and demanded money. He was wearing a blue hooded sweatshirt that said, Once a driller, always a driller. If you know anything about this crime, you're asked to call the BPD at 327 7111. Well, it's going to be a beautiful weekend for you to get outside and enjoy it. It already feels like the weekend morning show because Leah Steinberg is here with your forecast. <laughs> hey, Lindsay, I know we're going to be up early for the weekend morning show tomorrow as well. Hopefully you all tune in. In the meantime, though, it is a beautiful start to our Friday evening, and it looks like the evening is going to be beautiful. The day is also looking gorgeous. Right now, we're currently already in the upper 70s with winds coming out of the east northeast at about three miles per hour. Already seeing upper 60s in Tehachapi, 80 degrees in Edwards Air Force Base and 77 in China Lake with these light high clouds already moving out of the way and leaving us with a clear uh, morning as well. Wind speeds are already looking pretty nice. A little bit breezy though in Lancaster and these wind speeds will continue throughout the afternoon and the evening as well. And if you are uh, having plans to get out of town for spring break like some of us do, uh, looks like it's going to be a great weekend. 81 on Saturday and 84 on Sunday, but another cool down is heading our way. I'll have more details on that in your 7 day forecast. Back to you. Thanks, Leah. New details this morning on the way a Kern County High School is trying to make up for embarrassing a group of students. You might recall earlier this week, 23 ABC told you about a North High School staff member who called out 30 students who aren't expected to graduate and asked them to leave a senior rally. Administrators are now making phone calls and visiting classes so they can personally apologize to those students affected. And many of the students are also trying to make up the credits they're missing so they can graduate this year. Well, this afternoon, your little one might be biking home a little bit safer after a giveaway at two local schools. Dozens of children outside Ramon Garza Elementary and Sierra Middle Schools earned these helmets after answering some safety questions. And this was all thanks to a partnership with the CHP and the Kern County Bicycle Safety Coalition. Officials hope early education like this will prevent tragedy in the future. Most of our pedestrian fatals happened on the east side of town. And so this is one of many uh, operations that we'll be performing uh, at many school uh, areas. And today's event was all thanks to a grant from the California Office of Traffic Safety. Still to come here on 23 ABC News at 11 a.m., a Bakersfield man indicted, accused of shining a laser at a federal aircraft. More on his charges coming up. 23 ABC News is powered by Three Way Chevrolet, home of Advantage Plus. Proceeds from the 5K will go towards the life changing programs offered at the mission. It's $35 to register for the Mission Possible 5K, and teens 15 to 19 years old are $25. Registration is at 6.30 and the race starts at 8 a.m. at the California Living Museum on 10 500 Alfred Harrell Highway. You can register at themissionkc.org or call 325-8863. Now here's Howard in the Mr. Food Test Kitchen with his slow cooker brisket. All of us in the 23 ABC News at